It is leak time. We've been getting the leaks right for the past four months. Konami even banned me from the TCG for having these kind of leaks. The July pack is coming in July. Like, subscribe, comment, $100 giveaway. This is a big meta impact deck type I'm gonna give you, all right? It's topping YCSs through all uh, the tier zero formats. It's been topping and doing well through tier, tier zero, cash tier, tier zero. It's a resilient deck. It's got some really nasty, dirty, unfair plays, which is needed to be a good deck. Let's hop right into it. And I think I may have a sponsor on this. And if you support that sponsor, I'll be doing another early leak. I have about like six or seven good leaks from this pack. With that said, Hajime, awesome champions. Intense PvE and PvP content. Tactical upgrade systems. Sounds like a pretty good game, right? Well, it must be Raid Shadow Legends. If you've been missing out on Raid, now is the perfect time to come back in. Professor Death Knight can teach you everything you need to know about the new feature, Live Arena. Hello, students, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Death Knight, putting on my professor's cap with a lesson about Live Arena. What's Live Arena, you ask? Why, it's a new PvP mode where you can fight against other players in real time. So from one decayed professor to another, what's your battle strategy? Well, everyone thinks I'll go in fighting, but nobody expects my charm. My best strength is the gift of gab. So when they try to attack, I'll just be like, nice weather we're having, eh? Nobody will see it coming. Thanks, Professor DK. Raid Call of the Arbiter is in full swing. To celebrate, Raid is adding new characters to the game, like Artek, a mighty orc warlord who is going to be available to everyone for free. Just download from my link in the description below to then log in for seven days between now and up to June 24th to get all of the rewards. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, what are you waiting for? And if you're a new player using my link or scanning the QR code right here, you'll get a free starter pack with all of this cool in-game loot. I'll see you in game. Oh my Jesus. Oh, wrong replay, sorry. No, this is it, this is it. Okay, Ariana and Welcome Labyrinth, these are not new cards. And I do wanna tell you right now before you skip around, Lovely Labyrinth is getting reprinted. The Lovely, Lovely Lab. So if you do not have Lovely Lab right now, I, she kind of fell off the selection pack. Lovely is going to be the reprint that you want to get. So make sure for that. Let me show you real quick. I was stalling, there you go. This is gonna be reprinted in ultra rare reprint. Now, two card combo. This is a combo that's gonna be searching for the brand new Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. This card is nuts. While you control a set card, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects nor destroy it by card effects. But more importantly, you could use the effect of special summoning this from the hand if you activated a Labyrinth card or effect or a normal trap this turn and you could special summon. And then its other effect is, if a normal trap card is activated, you could chain to that normal trap to set a normal trap with a different name directly from your deck. So what could you do with that? Let's see. So first of all, we could special summon it. Easy peasy. Right now it's indestructible and untargetable. So what they're gonna do is Raigeki, wiping out our monsters except her because we have a set card. And now they're just gonna summon Alibur into Branded Fusion. Well, now that we got the intel on what they're doing, Let's stop that completely. We're gonna chain to our Welcome Labyrinth. We're gonna set a dimensional barrier. What the heck are we doing? TCG YCS toppers are doing this play. This is in their main deck, not side deck. They're playing 1D barrier for this play. This is gonna summon an Ariana. Ariana is gonna be searching for a clock. The clock is here, the Ku clock. The clock is gonna send itself from the hands of the graveyard during the opponent's turn. And now we're gonna chain to the branded fusion because the clock made a newly set trap this turn be activatable to make it illegal to fusion summon. Fusion summons cannot happen instant win. What the heck was that? Here is another play. I gotta remember what I was doing with this play. So this is gonna be Ariana and we're gonna chain summon the Lady Labyrinth. Oh, new card alert, new card. Let me pause this real quick. This is the Big Welcome Labyrinth. 
and you'll be playing three of this alongside the Welcome Labyrinth. You're going to special summon a Labyrinth monster from your hand, your deck, or graveyard, and then you have to return a monster you control back to the hand. And then it has another effect of you could banish this card from the graveyard, target a fiend you control, or if you control level eight or higher fiend monster like the lady or the lovely, you could target one card your opponent controls instead, return it to the hand. But don't get confused with that because you could only use one welcome labyrinth effect per turn and only once that turn. So I'm not going to even use that second effect. We're just going to summon from the deck, then return back to the hand. Get ready. So it's like a second Welcome Labyrinth. We're gonna chain to the big Welcome Labyrinth, chaining the Lady Labyrinth to it to set the D barrier. And it's gonna be the same play, but we're gonna return the clock back to the hand with the big Welcome Labyrinth, pretty much showing you how consistent that play is. So Ragaki does a thing, Dimensional Barrier, we win again. Now let's get more toxic. This is gonna be with Ariana and the big Welcome Labyrinth. We're gonna activate searching for the clock. What, the clock? We're gonna use it so we could use the big welcome labyrinth right now. This time we're gonna summon a lovely labyrinth and because a normal trap made a monster leave the field, she's gonna activate to pop a card in the hand. Let's get poppin', poppin' Rageki, and then we're gonna reset the big welcome labyrinth. Let's do it again, get ready, and then we're gonna welcome labyrinth, return back the lady, which is gonna activate her effect, and we're gonna summon her back in the field, popping two cards from the hand. So this is a good way to get double poppage, rip two cards out of the hand, destroy their hand. Now this next replay breaks my mind. We're gonna give the opponent eight cards in their hand. Eight cards in their hand, get ready for this. A three card combo. All right, this is, uh, this should be banned. This is not cool. We're gonna chain summon her onto the field, grabbing the clock. The clock's gonna be sent so we could use the welcome right away. We're gonna use her to set a eradicator epidemic virus, which could destroy all spells or traps from their hand, field, and their next three turns of drawing. It gets worse, <laughs> believe me. We're gonna pop a card from their hand and we're going to reset the big welcome labyrinth. And then right in their draw phase, look at this, eight cards in their hand. We're gonna big welcome labyrinth, chain summon the lady labyrinth onto the field. And we're gonna summon an Ariana, returning this Ariana back to the hand. And then we're gonna be using her effect to pop a card in the hand. So we're popping two cards. We're gonna search for a labyrinth chandelier and then get ready, we're not done yet. We're gonna chain Eradicator onto the lovely Labyrinth, chaining the Lady Labyrinth to the Eradicator to set a new trap. So we're gonna look at their hand. We're also gonna chain the Chandelier to set a big Welcome Labyrinth from the deck. Don't get confused, this is not that crazy. Now let's resolve this. We're gonna set a Deck Devastation Virus and we're gonna use it right now. Everything is on their turn right now, okay? Get ready destroying all of the spells that were in their hand. And then we're gonna trigger the clock to come back to our hand because we used the chandelier to discard a labyrinth card to set a trap. And now we're gonna send it. And then we're gonna deck devastation virus all in the same turn. So we popped two cards from the hand and we did both viruses, epidemic virus and deck devastation virus. Everything is gone. It's all, it's all gone. And does the deck really do this competitively? Yes, you can main deck just one of the viruses, one of the dimensional barrier. Uh, TCG were siding the viruses, but they were main decking the dimensional barrier. This is what the deck do. And then we have the Welcome Labyrinth. What the heck? This is disgusting. I'm gonna show you a YCS topping deck list. People have even topped with branded mixed in with Labyrinth. So it really, really, toxic and i love it so this is a ycs topping deck they have three skill drain like mad lads but uh don't worry about that uh it, it was 40 cards these were in the side deck so i put them in for the demonstration so something like this they are in a different meta where nibiru is more viable they got pot of p we don't the deck is still good we're obviously not going to play cyframe gear gamma we'd throw max c into this deck and this is what your deck would look like i don't know why they weren't playing three welcome labyrinth i would think you would want to be playing more than that so there you go if you want more deck lists of ycs topping labyrinth decks because there's quite a few of them i think the deck pretty much tops every ycs in the past whenever the big welcome labyrinth came out at least a few of them have been topping or at least one so here's another ycs topping deck this is a branded lady labyrinth deck if you want to mix it up with branded fusion this got top eight in a cash tier of meta 
So you could look at the breakdown up here, something like this. Very good. And look at that top cut, six Labyrinth decks out of a top 64. That's pretty good. The third best performing, and this is pretty much like the, the latest YCS that happened. Uh, Labyrinth deck right here. This is a good looking one. So, uh, but the latest YCS six did top. The team YCS, I don't know how many Labyrinth players were in the team YCS. I don't know how, ma how many of the deck lists we have here. Here you go. This is a second place, two world champs and a dude named John. So a world champion playing Labyrinth in a YCS team tournament, which if your player, if your friends are depending on you to win, you're gonna play what you believe is the best deck for the event. And uh, this mad lad thought that this was the best deck for the event. So Ryan Yu, very good. Looking something like that. Lord of Heavenly Prison. You got even more deckless. Another Labyrinth deck in the tier zero cash, uh, not the cash tier, but the tier zero tier limit meta. This is what was being played. Tier limit meta, Necro Valley with the metaverse. Not even playing the Labyrinth field spell. That's kind of wild. <laughs> wow. And uh, triple dimensional barrier. So you got the combos there. Playing a D fish, D uh, fissure that is, uh, shifter and very cool. And I think that's enough deck list for you to know that this has been doing quite well as a good rogue deck and meta contender. I think it will have a big impact in Master Duel, especially with the toxicity of best of one generally. I would say it's more favorable to do crazy toxic stuff like setting epidemic viruses, deck devies, and dimensional barrier. That is the deck. Thank you very much. Make sure you sign up for the giveaway. Like, subscribe, comment, $100. Thank you very much. We are out. I'm going to be streaming on twitch.tv slash decade every week on Sunday, unless it's the week of a new pack for more leaks. Let's go.